Yo, yo, how y'all doing today? It's your boy, Mike D, a.k.a. DDE8, a.k.a. 13 Wonder of the World, a.k.a. Mike DZ. Happy Monday to y'all. It's kind of rainy Monday, but thank y'all for joining me on The Point of View as we go forward for this week. It's been a rough, rough 24 hours for me so far, but, you know, I got to maintain. I got to keep my head up, even when the times get tough. I still know that God got me. So that's all that matters, and you should know that too as well. Um, shout out to the Point Place family. Shout out to Bobby Reezy. Shout out to M. Breezy. Shout out to Naya Naya. Shout out to my sister. I love all y'all. Thank y'all for listening to me on the Point of View on this Monday. Uh, I want to get into a couple of things. Monday Night Raw is about to come on in about the next 50 45, 50 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Want to get into Raw in a minute for what's happening on there. From what I've heard, that's going to take place tonight. But uh, let me go back to yesterday and talk about the NFL for a minute. Uh, a great game between the Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. Everybody thought that the Buffalo Bills were going to win the game. Uh, and the kicker missed the kick. In the end, and Josh Allen's chance of going back to an AFC championship game is not going to happen this year. Once again, Patrick Mahomes has beaten the great Josh Allen. There's no excuse for them losing. They should have played better, not to even be involved in that predicament. But I'm here to tell you that you don't bet against Patrick Mahomes. And now Patrick Mahomes has an opportunity to go back to the Super Bowl again. If he does this, he's going to be up there with Tom Brady as a dynasty. But I think Lamar Jackson and the Buffalo Bills, I mean, excuse me, the Baltimore Ravens are going to have something to say about that. He's going to be the MVP. But this is the opportunity that he needs to prove to everybody that he can win the big one, get to the big dance, which is the Super Bowl. The pressure is not on Patrick Mahomes, guys. The pressure is on Lamar Jackson because he wants it more. And don't think that Patrick Mahomes don't want it because he does. But I'm here to tell you that the pressure is on the Baltimore Ravens to beat the Kansas City Chiefs this week. We'll see what happens as they go forth and try to pursue getting to a Super Bowl. Uh, we're gonna see what happens, excuse me, we're gonna see what happens with the Lions and the 49ers. You know, they're gonna be out there as well trying to figure out what they need to do to get their situation out get their situation together. So we'll see what happens with the football, folks. We'll see what happens uh, as we go on. We have another week. Championship games are next week. Busy week in the business of professional wrestling. We know tonight Raw is going to be in New Orleans at the Smoothie King Arena where the Pelicans play. You might see some of the Pelicans at the show. You never know. Uh... And then I'll get into a couple of um, NBA talks as well, trade rumors. Uh, tonight is Monday Night Raw. We're going to find out what's going on with Seth Rollins. CM Punk and Cody Rhodes has their uh, their meetup in the ring. Um, we know that it's going to be Chad Gable against Ivar, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. That's going to be one of the matches as well. Uh, we don't I don't know the card. I don't I don't know all of the card, but I know some of it. That's the only thing. That's a couple of things that I know that's gonna take place tonight as we get forward to the Royal Rumble. Also, uh Saturday is AEW Collision in Boja City, Shreveport, Louisiana. I'm attending to go, you know, with the help of the good Lord. My attention is to go to go watch that. Uh to go see the steel cage match between FTR 
and the House of Black and Daniel Garcia as well in that match. Of course, Edge is probably going to do a uh, a Cope Challenge, Cope Open. It'll be good to see Edge back down here in the South. Going to be interesting to see what else happens on AEW Collision. We'll find that card out um, probably Wednesday, Wednesday, excuse me, on Dynamite. Um, with that being said as well, um, also 2K24 will be coming out. WWE 2K24 will be coming out on March the 8th. Cody Rhodes, Bianca Belair, and Rhea Ripley are the cover artists on the game. Congratulations to all three of them. They're going to do the 40-year WrestleMania um, storyline on there as well. Special guest referee matches are back on wrestling games. It's been a while since they had them, but it's good to have them back on there. Um, looks like they're going to bring casket matches back. back. I think you're going to have a very live match. There's so much going to take place on this 40th WrestleMania. And this is good for business because now you got 40 years of WrestleMania. And this is great for business, folks. Great, great move by WWE and uh, 2K for making this happen. This is the ultimate, ultimate relationship between them. And with Cody, Bianca, and Rhea being cover being the cover artist on the game, that is exactly what's up. It's very great to see. It's very, 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 very big for their their careers. To get that 2K money is exactly what you need because every time somebody plays the game, you're getting paid for getting it, for playing, and, and, and you know, royalties are there. So... Congratulations to them for that as well, folks, um, as they get ready for that. Um, I don't really have too much more about Raw. I just hope that whatever happens with Seth Rollins is best for business because it's gonna be it's gonna be sad to see him not wrestle at WrestleMania if he's out for a long time. Hopefully that's not what it is. Hopefully he'll be out for a few weeks where he could go in there and have his match with CM Punk. Because everybody knows he's going to fight CM Punk at WrestleMania. It's just that it's just that plain and simple. That's where they're going. That's the story right there for CM Punk and Cody. Cody's story is going to be told, I guess, as well. So we'll see what happens with that. Who's the next competitor for Gunther? I think you go with Jey Uso. Um, there's a possibility that it might be Brock Lesnar versus Gunther. For the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania. Do we want to see Brock Lesnar as the Intercontinental Champion? Could possibly. Because here's why I say that. You've got Logan Paul who's the United States Champion. And he don't be on Raw each week. I mean SmackDown, excuse me. But he's the mid-card champion. So that would be interesting to see Brock Lesnar be the Intercontinental Champion. I think that's the best move. I think you go with that. Have him win a, a mid-card title for the first time in his career. And not to have the belt that long. That's in my book. That's what I see. Also, ladies and gentlemen, um, also talk about um, the NBA, trade rumors. The Lakers are still trying to find a place to get D-Lo, to move D-Lo. Um, the Pelicans probably going to be trying to get, get Bruce Brown out of there. Uh, I don't know if that's true. What That's what I'm hearing. The Lakers still want to get a shot at Deontay Murray. Zach Levine as well. Um, there's some trades that's going on. The Heat are trying to get Terry Rozier. If they get Terry Rozier, then they can bump up Indiana in the rankings. That's just my thought about it. Because Rozier is another guy that can shoot the ball. He can compliment Bam. He can compliment, uh, you know, Jimmy Butler. He can, if they don't trade Hero or Duncan Robinson, then you'll see what happens with, with the Heat if they get Ter Terry Rozier. There's a possibility they might be back in the playoffs 
deep in the playoffs if they get if they get Terry Rozier out of Charlotte. Uh, that being said, um, the Warriors are also looking at trades. There was a um, a rumor out that they were trying to get rid of everybody on their team except Steph Curry. That's what I heard. That means that Clay and Draymond were part of trade pieces. Is that true? I don't know. Could it happen? I don't know. Will it happen? I don't know. The trade deadline's coming. All star. We're getting ready for the All Star um, break, and which is coming soon. Which is in about another what? Another three or four weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Well, actually, under three or four weeks, because I think the All-Star game is during the week of Valentine's Day week in Mardi Gras. So we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully, let me say this, hopefully they figure out a way to make this happen for the Warriors because the Warriors are on sick and saying they just went through uh, one of their coaches dying. They haven't been playing. So the league has been giving them time to, you know, mourn you know their coach but after the morning then you got to get back to business you know and we'll see what happens with them as well tonight is Wimby Wimby going up against Joel and B the Sixers and the Spurs that should be fun uh, Boston versus Dallas which will be interesting because you got Tatum and Brown versus Kyrie and Luka very interesting games as well. Uh, Hawks and Kings, that's a game. Magic and um, the Magic versus the Cavaliers, that's a, that's a game. Uh, Donovan Mitchell against Pichero. So we'll see what happens with, with all those guys tonight as well uh, in the NBA. So we'll see what happens with all of that. Sorry, somebody had called me. But uh, not only that, folks, you know, that's all I got for right now. God bless you. God keep you. Enjoy your Monday. Enjoy college basketball. Enjoy Monday Night Raw. Enjoy the NBA. Peace out. Peace and love. God bless you. God keep you. I'm out.